Hello again, this is Nanayao and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the extensions. According to the blueprint, we will have to extend uh, one of the rooms on the ground floor. And we're going to be extending the area around the dorm area. Uh, for that place, to me, it was more of space utilization. Um, the, uh, the optimal use of uh, spaces. Uh, and so that is what we're going to be focusing on today. Uh, we will also talk about uh, builders in Ghana. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. said the new blueprint required us to increase the size of one of the rooms and also to extend the area around the dome that's the digging of the foundation uh, uh, in your shot as usual the digging was followed by the casting of concrete The area around the dorm also included a space between the main house and the guest house. Uh, this area will also receive a foundation connecting the two uh, areas of the structure. Casting was followed by block lane for the foundation.
So with this new layout uh, space utilization was very important to us. Um, if you look at those two pillars, it used to be an exterior patio overlooking a big house. Uh, there is no way any of us will sit there and spend time looking at the big house. So that space was converted into an interior space for the master bathroom. Okay, so I'm going to win a bit casting. Oh, from home. Uh, the master bedroom uh, washroom. In the new layout, all these areas will be included in the dining and the living area. Let's walk through the ground floor of the guest area one more time. As you can see, it's just still a work in progress, but I like the layout. I think it's nice. Uh, it's a five bedroom, uh, both floors, and I believe uh, guests are gonna be happy living there. And hey, um, for rental purposes, um, there is more space to build uh, another five bedroom guest house. Um, that will be a consideration in the near future. This is another back patio that was turned into an interior storage space in the kitchen area. In your shot is the construction of the additional um, dining and living areas. And the addition of more columns to the structure. As you can see, the foundation for all these remaining areas is almost ready for casting. So, color, I'm not it dim now. Same thing here to support this beam. A 
again as i said in the other video um for those who are interested in prices um at this stage wood as you can see is a major expense so wawa boards two by fours plywood um, all kinds of wood you know is a major expense at this stage i'm not calling this coming this side too How are you? As you can see, the ground is uh, almost fully prepped uh, for casting. Uh, in this case, there was a lot of debris around, there's a lot of um, blocks, uh, pieces of blocks laying around, so filling was, uh, was much easier. Yeah, so casting should be uh, uh, following soon. I know people have questions about my former builder but those of you who still have questions um, you should realize by now that this demolition and this remodeling was not just about him and yes he committed some blunders especially when we uh, did the demolition most of those construction blunders came to light and as men we always want to go to war we always want to go and fight and yes, uh, some of the blunders were very annoying. In my case, I did address these uh, blunders with the uh, builder. Um, he did not take it well. He was not uh, receptive of it. He was not accepting of it. Um, he was uh, arrogant about it. And so that was where we left it. But I did advise him. I advised him. I know he can do well. Uh, if he actually uh, humbles himself and there's somebody to learn and especially work with somebody who will give him directions I believe he will do well. With this experience I have come to the conclusion that a project of this magnitude shouldn't be managed by one builder. Um, I don't care if the person is a structural engineer or whatever. It, 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 it shouldn't be managed by one builder. It should especially should be supervised by a qualified architect together with engineers. Okay, um, I believe it would have gone well uh, because when it comes to building, I believe he can build. Yeah, I believe he can build, but he needs a, uh, a designer, an architect who will give directions. So for those of you who are about to start building, um, I would advise you, don't just get one person who calls himself a structure engineer or any kind of engineer, um, get a team a team of two or three engineers uh, with the architect involved. The architect has to be the one to, to direct the design, the layout of the house, you know. Uh, more often than not, I hear people say, oh, I went to uh, my building in Ghana and the ceiling was so low. Um, now, your ceiling is so low because uh, you know, somebody was not paying attention um, to the layout, to, to the height, you know, and, and these things, if you get a qualified architect who uh, most of the time should have an engineering background, that is a plus. That would be um, the way to go. Builders in Ghana, I think most of you don't realize the huge opportunity that, um, and what I mean by that is that um, when it comes to builders in Ghana, uh, there is very few of you who have structure, okay, 
and um, some masquerade as builders, um, but then when you start talking to them, you realize they lack structure, okay? Um, they lack the customer service. So. There's this sense of um, I'm important and I'm the best builder, and so you should use me, and if you don't use me, everything is gonna go wrong with you. You know, as a client, you, you kind of get that vibe from some builders in Ghana. As builders, if you're going to succeed in this space, I believe that a good structure, okay? And sometimes you might not be the best person to handle customers or clients. Uh, you might have to hire somebody with a good qualification, good skills, good communication skills to talk to your clients. That is what you need to do. Another point for builders to take note is as Ghanaian clients, we want to be part of the process. And being part of the process means that we control the cost, we control the purchases, and we don't want to pay in dollars. It's as simple as that. Because if we are in Ghana. The building is in Ghana. It is not in the US. I believe this makes sense, you know. I mean, if the building is in Ghana, then we want to pay CDs. Okay, so what we are looking for in a builder is somebody who is qualified, has very good structure, a very good customer service, and charges the right price. That's all. These have been some thoughts that I've had for some time um, about builders in Ghana, and I, I thought I should uh, share with you. I believe I made sense and I was able to help somebody. So back to the house. As you can see, the casting uh, of the floor for the uh, remaining um, living and dining area. And also this area is going to be um, an entry point um, for the wet side of the house. Um, the casting is almost done in this area. If you remember from the previous videos, um, a staircase was removed um, from this area. Um, in your shot, um, there's going to be a much nicer um, U-shape um, staircase um, that will replace that staircase uh, to uh, access the uh, top floor um, from this area of the house. So this piece of steel molding will anchor the uh, staircase to the floor. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, samba. Okay.
if you're wondering what this machine does it vibrates and evenly distributes the concrete As you can see the casting for the space between the guest house and the main house is almost done. You would realize in this space that there's a lot of columns and the ugly column will be removed. But the, uh, uh, the smoother ones, I believe is just too many of them in this space. Um, we are still finding an engineering solution uh, so that we can remove a couple of those uh, columns. Don't worry about this column here. Um, the final resting place uh, for this column will be in a wall. The foundation for the extension of the other room is also almost done. I would like to end here. Again, this has been Nanayao. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And make sure to stay safe. And I'll see you again.